please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. In today's show, we'll look at some important international news and national stories, as well as more information on some clubs that are getting started this school year. All that and so much more because GTV News starts right now. Welcome back, Geneva, and here are your morning announcements for Monday, September 12th, 2022. We begin with news outside our halls. Sunday marked the 21st anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Nearly 3,000 people lost their lives when two planes flew into the World Trade Center in New York, another one into the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and a fourth crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It was a large-scale terrorist attack on American soil. In other news, the world mourns the loss of Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, passed away last week at the age of 96. Buckingham Palace made a statement that the Queen died peacefully in Balmoral. Her son, Prince Charles, is now taking the throne at the age of 73. Some would say this is a fitting tribute for a queen. The High Society Tea Party will be having monthly meetings starting on Tuesday, September 13th. They will be in room J240 with games, snacks, tea, and fun facts. Contact Frau Sweden Bank if you're interested in joining. Photo Club will be meeting on Tuesday in room D160 to decorate their door for homecoming. Contact Ms. Fami with any questions. For anyone interested in learning American Sign Language, the ASL Club will be meeting on Wednesday in J244. Contact Senora Hamilton if you have any questions. Key Club's first meeting is tomorrow, September 13th. You can attend before school at 7.10 a.m. or after school at 2.55 p.m. in room CC154 to learn how you can help your community and earn give hours. Educators Rise Club will meet Thursday, September 15th after school in EE 180. They will be packing period packs for students in the community through the program. Go with the flow. The, the packs are then donated to schools in Kane County for students who need supplies. Scrubs will hold its first meeting on Tuesday, September 13th, after school in room H216. Anyone that is interested in joining the club can attend. Please see Mrs. Limbaris if you have any questions. And now let's take a look at today's weather. We're going to have a high of 63 degrees and a low of 55. And taking a, a look ahead at tomorrow's weather, we're going to be having a high of 74 degrees along with a low of 54 degrees. And here's three to know before we go. This Thursday's PLC is required for all juniors and half the sophomore class. Yearbooks are still arriving, so be on the lookout for when you can pick them up at a later date. And remember that tomorrow for the, the, the tomorrow lottery for the freshmen will close, so hurry on over to the link in our Instagram bio to enter. And one more note before we go, there's a GTV club meeting tomorrow in the TV studio located by the Logan Street exit in Mac Olson Gym. Club and class members have the opportunity to attend the Student Television Network Conference in March. It's a nationwide broadcasting competition, and here's a look at what you can expect. Be sure to contact Miss Benny for more information. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Leo Franzman, and this was my last day behind the anchor desk. It's been a pleasure. Have a marvelous Monday, Geneva.